During this video segment, I will show you how you can view the BJU Press curriculum maps and how you can copy those into your curriculum track account for your school. First of all, to view those, go to Other Curriculum, search by course name, and BJU Press is in here along with all the other schools. If you don't see them in there, let us know uh, because maybe you don't have access to them right now. So I'm going to choose BJU Press and notice that there are, oops, I need to click search, uh, currently 10 course maps, but this is going to grow quite a bit. Uh, it looks like we have the English ones in here right now. And what I strongly recommend is that you view these before you copy them. So let's go ahead and take a look at first grade English. And so it opens up the map that uh, was created for that particular uh, course and textbook. And um, notice that it has um, organized by quarters and it has the individual units and so forth. Um, what I would like you to make sure you do is look very closely at the fields that they have. Because you can copy this in, but ultimately if you have way different fields than what they have, it's going to be very difficult for you to pull that course in. Because during the copy process that you'll see in just a moment, you'll see that you're going to be forced to take all of these fields and try to push them into one of your fields. So to look at that, I'm going to go ahead and go to the admin area. Um, try that again. So let's go to admin setup. And if I go to manage templates, and I have multiple templates, but I would like to put it into my default template. Notice these are the fields that we have for the default template. And so what you need to do before you try and copy this is you want to analyze the BJU fields and your fields and see how they match up. So first of all, um, these are default fields here, so we don't have to worry about those. But then the unit objectives, um, let's take a look. That could go into skills and objectives. Um, so that I can map in. Unit topics and concepts. Doesn't look like I really have any fields to accommodate that. So I could either leave them out or I could put those in um, this field as well. Um, but see, this is what I'm talking about. There's nothing to accommodate that. Unit resources, um, we could put those into the shared resources. Um, notice that they also, I also have another field called teacher resources, and that's an individual teacher field. Just so you know, none of the curriculum content from the BJU maps will be able to get pushed into an individual teacher field only district fields. So you'll see that a little bit later on when I go ahead and do that mapping. It's not even going to show this as an option, but that's fine in this case. I'll just put it into the shared resources instead. <clears throat> Biblical integration concepts. Um, that could go into my Christ-centered integration, so I think that'll work fine. And then finally, instructional strategies. Um, I'm going to probably just put that into the activities field here. So you see, you need to match those up. And uh, if you want, maybe you want to just print this out so you see all these fields or write these uh, fields down. And then go, like I said, to your template. And you could do it this way, or I guess I could have just gone to any of my um, maps. And I'll be able to see the fields here as well um, and see which ones attach in and so forth. Now, one other thing is if your fields are just drastically different than um, BJU Press fields, or if you want them to match up exactly, you could adjust your fields. Um, in other words, add a few fields to your template, or you could create a brand new template. Um, we typically don't like schools to have too many templates. Uh, this particular school actually has several of them. Most schools just have one, maybe two. But you could create another template just for uh, BJU Press, especially if you really like their fields. Okay, 
so let's go ahead and go back now. And so this is where I searched again. That was under other curriculum, search by course name, choose BJU Press. And I'm going to copy just one course right now. So there is a, a link here for import BJU Press course maps. And this is the mapping I'm talking about. Step one, you'll need to map your fields from their template into your template. So the first field here is, um, oh, it's going to ask which template you want to use. So I'm going to use the default template. If you have several, you'll want to make sure you use the correct one, whichever one you so desire. <clears throat> so BJU unit objectives, we said we were going to put those into the skills and objectives. Um, the unit topics concepts, I really would like to get those in here somewhere. I guess just so you can see you don't have to, I'll change the, or I'll choose this option. Do not include this field in your maps. So we're not going to get that content in. Um, unit resources, we'll go in the shared resources. Notice the teacher resources field is not an option, and that's because that's an individual teacher field. Um, we're going to map this to the Christ-centered integration and then strategies. Uh, you probably can't see that. Let me scroll down just a bit. Uh, let's have that go into activities. So let's continue to step two. Then it says, okay, which maps from BJU do you want to copy? Um, you can select multiple if you want. I'm just going to do first grade English right now. And the import is completed. So now if I go to curriculum maps, English language arts, um, scroll down again so you can see it. Notice it still had my previous grade one English. It's not going to override any maps that you already have or any courses you already have. It will create a brand new course with a brand new map. Uh, that way it's a little bit safer and ultimately if you decide this is what you want to inherit, you could go ahead and go to the courses database and get rid of this one. So let's take a look, see once what we just pulled in. Uh, here's the map itself. And uh, notice I still need to attach benchmarks. Um, uh, it doesn't look like I have the resources showing. I'm going to pause just a moment and get that field showing in here. There we go. I apologize for that. I just didn't have those fields turned on. Um, that was my mistake. But notice that it pulled in our biblical integration, skills and objectives, um, shared resources and activities. Um, so it brought in four of the five fields from BJU Press. I said not to pull in that uh, fifth one. So uh, um, and then notice then you can still edit this to attach your benchmarks, put in your essential questions and so forth. Um, so if you want to get rid of your old English one map, what you can do then is you could go to this English one map here and I can't delete it because there's content in it. Actually, what I like to do instead of deleting it anyway, is let's just take this course. You might have to um, give it a new name. And I'm going to move it out of English and I'll just put it into the other miscellaneous area so it kind of gets rid of it out of English. So now notice there is no first grade English here. And so now I can rename this if I want to. Um, notice it has the course number from BJU Press. If you want to use your course number, um, whatever that might be, um, you can do that. Especially if you're integrating with RenWeb, you want to make sure that you use the RenWeb course number there. And then I'm going to take the BJU out of here and I'll just call it English First Grade. And I can take off the addition and I'll need to say what grade it is for and click update. So now I got rid of the old English and now here it is. Um, that's a way in which you can now inherit this. Again, if you wanted to have all the fields and have it match up perfectly with the BJU Press, uh, you'd want to create another template for that. And um, just send a support ticket to, uh, to us then if you want help doing that. Um, just go to the support center and submit a support ticket and we can help you with that as well. So hopefully that helps you out with how to copy the course. It's fairly easy to do. Most of it's homework ahead of time just to make sure that, that the mapping of the fields uh, lines up the way it should. And that's going to be the hardest with the first course. Once you figure out the first course, you can do that for all the future courses as well. This now concludes this instructional video.